Thank you, Mike. Today is National Pizza Day on social media. The question is, what are your favorite pizza toppings? I like the standards. I like sausage. That's yeah. good. But then I also like anchovies. Okay. And I go, like, go a little um, wild once Banana in a while. peppers. That's my yeah, curveball. You can join us on Facebook at Morning Blend Omaha. We're also on Twitter at OMA Morning Blend. You like shrimp? I like shrimp on pizza. Uh, what's like shrimp on pizza? pizza with a some white spinach. Yeah, I've had that. White shrimp pizza. That's I've good. had mashed potatoes on pizza. Mm -hmm. That was good. Yeah, I like the Thai stuff. The Thai is getting really good. She at this point, our guest is saying, "Can we get on with?" I the know. Show? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so the first Heartland Latino Leadership Conference happened 15 years ago. That's right. While a lot has changed in that time, this event continues to be valuable not just to the Latino community but to the region as a whole. Rosenda Ovalle is the president of Heartland. Latino leadership. Good morning. Welcome good morning. back. Yeah, you weren't the only one rolling your eyes over. Our, our crew members were rolling their eyes <laughs> so about pizza talk. While we're talking pizza about talk. pizza, do you have any? And you've got four kiddos. Yes, so I, that's, I was going to say pizza is actually a favorite in our house. Uh -huh. In our home, we make our own at home too. Oh, that's so, great. but we we stick to the basics. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. the the pepperoni and the sausage. Well, are what when the you've kids got like, so. a family of six, <laughs> yeah, you what's universal everybody. works. A lot right, of times, right. it's just cheese at our house. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get to this conference. Who's speaking? What's the deal with this? Okay, so the fifteenth fifteenth year in existence is a conference. We are actually going to have Consuelo Kickbush Castillo is one of the, the speakers. She is known for being a top ranked um, person in the combat of the U.S. Army. She was the top leading Hispanic. We also mm -hmm. have Isabel Flores. You'll see there on the screen. She's the second one. She's known for passing the bar exam without actually having to attend law school. So those are our two main key oh, wow. keynote speakers. And then what about the gentleman? And then the gentleman we have, um, the last person, Joe Gerstant, he is actually going to come in and speak on diversity and how to bring that into your workplace and also in your personal life. And then the third gentleman we have there is um, Mr. On Ono Inojosa Mier, and he is from the National Hispanic Latino Corporate Council. So he's coming in to speak as a panelist, and he's also going to do a separate session on his own, speaking about the history Latinos have in the Midwest. Yeah, what's the purpose of this con con conference? Is it, and I guess is it just for people of Latino descent? Is it, it's I, actually open up to the public. Uh, we welcome everybody. We encourage everyone to attend. Um, it is for anybody who has any type of interest in the Latino community. Mm -hmm. um, any we have partners that partner with us. We if you want to know diversity, how to recruit Latinos, mm -hmm. if you're looking for bilingual employees, which of course nowadays is very. Um, a need that is very well sought after. Um, and we also have different exhibitors that will be out there from different companies. So we'll have different companies such as Cox, ConAgra, Union Pacific, and they will be out there um, showing their products, but not only that, off also offering opportunities for employment or mm -hmm. internships. Mm -hmm. You also um, use events like this to raise money that for your correct. scholarship program. Any idea how many students you'll support this coming um, year? Yes, this year we actually have 15 scholarships. That's great. And we actually have partnered with another organization this year. We've kind of formed an alliance. There's another organization called the Barrientos Scholarship mm -hmm. Foundation. And so we have partnered with them. We'll be giving out 15 scholarships. Um, Three of those scholarships will actually be full ride scholarships to wow. universities what for the four wow. years. That, that is incredible. Students. And a lot of what you do, you you need these community partners. So you're also going to present community awards. That is and, correct. In certain categories. What are yes. they? Yes, we have um, several different categories that we reach out to in the awards, which is government, health, arts and humanities, Latino Partner of the of the Year. Uh, we also have. Um, education and then we have a youth one mm -hmm. so we reach out to across the board we're trying to get outside of the Omaha metro area also so we've reached out across to like western mm -hmm. um, Nebraska um, into like Grand Island Iowa things like that yeah. to see if we can get some other people involved also because of course great things do happen here in the metro but we mm -hmm. also like to showcase people outside of the metro and you know those communities could benefit from diversity definitely. just as ours can definitely should our viewers register or how does this work if they're new to the conference um, if you are new to the conference we do have um, a free event on Monday so it's kind of a good way to come in and check things out mm -hmm. on Monday afternoon we're having our welcome reception it's going to be at the Guacamaya restaurant that's located down on 33rd Street in South Omaha. Um, that's from 5:30 to 8. That's re recognition of our sponsors and a good opportunity to network with some of the different mm -hmm. companies that will be there. And then on that Tuesday is the actual conference from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. And we will um, we have our website, which is heartlandlatino.org. Mm -hmm. That is going to be out there. And we also. Um, have my contact information listed so you're more than welcome to reach out to me directly yeah. to get more information. You're doing something right or you're not around for 15 years. 
You yes, know what I mean? yes. But, but did you continue to evolve to meet the needs as they change? That's yes. also important. Uh, so let's show you some information here and tie a, a bow on our visit November 17th and 18th at Embassy Suites La Vista. Um, and you see the, the pricing breaks down there and you get a great discount if you're a college student or in high school and you're interested in, in learning more in personal and professional development. And that website again is heartlandlatino.org. Thank you, Rosanna. It's nice to see you. Rosanna, thank thanks you. for your time this morning. We thanks appreciate you being here. Thank you.